stay where you're at. That goes for all spirits around here. Stay where you're at. Do not attack. Oh. Riverside Cemetery doing an investigation at B.F. Addison's uh, headstone. Now B.F. was uh, like Patrolman Bailey gunned down by Will Harrison. If you've seen that video with uh, Patrolman Bailey, I did that with the ghost tube app. It was really windy in here that day. I mean it was pretty bad weather. Uh, but it uh, looks like it might rain but it's holding off so far. So I want to see if we can get an investigation done here. Will Harris gunned him down just like he did Patrolman Bailey. Basically Addison was a shop owner in downtown came out to hear you know what he heard this commotion he came out to see what was going on and he got gunned down um will harris did get uh gunned down himself later on but i'll talk about that in future podcasts but let's see if we can communicate with mr bf addison Madison there it says killed by desperado and that he was uh well like i said i'll get into the uh, will harris i've talked about it on my live streams in the past uh, a little bit but I'll definitely dedicate a podcast uh, on YouTube for that uh, in the coming weeks or so. But, uh, but I want to see if we can make some communication with Mr. Addison. Uh, he was only 56 years old and gone for not, but not forgotten, as it says there. But um, in 1906, Will Harris gunned down him, Patrolman Bailey, and others. And, and uh, matter of fact. Uh, he got gunned down himself, like I said, uh, later on by several men. Several men went to pawn shops, grabbed guns, if they didn't already have them. They went, uh, they went and found him. They figured out where he was. Will Harris was in a bush. They gunned him down. Anyway, so, um, yeah, he, he got, uh, yeah. yeah, he got it too. But uh, Mr. Addison and ba Mr. Bailey, neither one needed to have uh, been shot and killed. That was senseless. Should have never happened. But uh, let's see if we can do something here with maybe the K2, and we'll try the flashlight, and uh, so maybe the K2 the and the flashlight. And the K2 does not get, uh, does not, the flashlight does not interfere with the K2, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so there's no problem there at all. Uh, we'll see if either one gets slid up. Mr. Addison, if you're here with me right now, could you light something up, uh, touch the flashlight or the, or the box, and light those up for me, please? Should be able to see at least the flashlight real good if it lights up because it is uh, cloud cover and no sunshine coming in. But I want to get the um, ghost tool going here. There we go. And it's the blue hand app, by the way. It's, it's this one right here. Um, Mr. Addison, can you... Say your name in this device, please. Got bugs flying around. We'll definitely give the Necrophonic app a try here, too, and see if we catch anything. Now, I tried... Uh, doing that up at um no i used the ghost tube i'm sorry i don't think i used the necrophonic that day i used the ghost tube and the i believe the sb11 that day at bailey's place medium so i didn't try the necrophonic up there i got manual if you touch that flashlight it will come on you may be familiar with that more so than the other box possibly I find that spirits, um, I mean, some will, will touch the K2 for sure. I think they're a little nervous about it, but I think the flashlight would be something up. Something up, it's up. Um, it may be something they're more familiar with, maybe, and maybe more likely to touch if, if they want to do that. So I'm trying to use the flashlight and the investigations more and more as I possibly can. I need to go use it in the mausoleum sometime. Gotten the K2 to go crazy in there before. So, sit.
if you mean want me to sit sit down or something, I probably can. It's a little dirty on the ground here. Sorry. Not sure if that's what it means. It says sit, so. I did set those down there if you want to touch them. They will, they will light up if you put your energy into it. There's always that possibility that the K2 could hit, or even the flashlight flash, I miss it, so. Always keep an eye on your surroundings as well. There have been bear, I have actually saw bears in here before. So, yeah. Now? Yeah, now, if you could. If you could touch it, either one of those would be fine. Suspect? Talking about Will Harris being being the suspect? They got him. They found where he was at and they, they gunned him down. They say that Harris could be buried in here. Although it's not been confirmed 100%. Beware. You talking about Harris? Beware of him. Is he in here? Is he buried in here? There's, there's conflicting reports about him being buried in here. Squirrels running around through the trees. Produce. Tight. Be make the honey, which I like to eat. Okay, guys, I'm gonna switch over here in just a second to the necrophonic app. Hang tight. Okay, so real quickly before I do the uh, necrophonic, down here is a veterans area that I filmed at before. Um, a few times but on the other side I believe it's like right down on the other side of where the veterans area is there's the poplar area where there's no headstones but people were just buried there is there is word that it could be that Harris is buried down there maybe that's not been confirmed so uh, but I did take away the K2 and we're going to work on just the flashlight um, and uh, no shame. And I'm fixing to switch over to the Necrophonic app, but um, still produce some words here, so we'll give it just a minute. But I want to kind of give you an idea of where Harris could be buried. Now, I have tried in the past to, to uh, investigate down in that area before, but um, 
may have to try it again sometime to see if Harris comes through. Lock. <clears throat> Okay, so let's try the Necrophonic app. If, like I say, if that flashlight hits and I miss it, I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay. Necrophonic. As I say, you can... Light that flashlight up if you could, please. And you can also speak in this device that's in my right hand. I'll be able to hear what you're saying. Been there. Mr. Addison, if you're here, can you tell me what you think about Will Harris? Eight. Been a long time, is that what it said? A break. I think I said. I think I heard a female say emotional. I think. Mr. Harrison, did you know Patrolman Bailey? Yeah. Or, yeah. I can make that out. Something about longer, but I couldn't make it out. Were you, were you friends with Patrolman Bailey? I can't make some of this stuff out. Please comment below what you all are hearing, guys. Say a saint. Like something was tapping on that tree or something, like hitting tapping wood. And I've looked around a few times, but I've not found a squirrel or anything. But it's definitely coming from behind me.
Help. Keep hearing help. I can try to help you. I think it did say Addis in there for a second. Heat. Okay. So, Mr. Ass, I'm, I'm fixing to leave. Um, thank you for communicating with me. Stay where you're at. That goes for all spirits around here. Stay where you're at. Do not attack. Oh. Thank you. Maybe he wants me to stay. Okie dokie. Um, and I'll, I'll stay for a little bit of, but please communicate with me. Brother. Trying to make the phonic back on. Plane heading over. Can you turn that light off? Said here. I don't know what that was. Help. Breathing. Thinks an infant. Fog. Cloudy, but not really foggy. Can you turn that flashlight off? I think I said no. Or nah, what it sound like. Are you not able to turn that flashlight off? what that was, but that didn't sound good. You want me to turn off that flashlight? I think I said please, best time I can keep. I'll turn it off if you want me to turn it off, if you can't. Sure. Listen. I need help. You want me to help you turn that off? Okay, I'll turn it off. Um, okay, I uh, turned it off.
Okay, I've turned it off. I've got it completely turned off. Well, that's pretty creepy. I've never had that happen in a cemetery or anywhere else as far as that goes. Other than at home, obviously, and then uh, my mom and my mom and sister shed, and, and I think the basement had it one time. But uh, I've tried these at cemeteries and places before, and I've never had the flashlight go off. Um, I guess I didn't know how to turn it off once it came, when he turned it on. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so I got the whole thing turned completely off. That's pretty remarkable. Mm. Okay, well, um, keep hearing that popping and cracking, but it's coming from up in the trees now. I, it just sounds weird. Anyway, so we had some weird stuff come through the necrophonic gap, and, and I was just not really sure what it was. It sounded evil, uh, but I know Mr. Addison wasn't evil or anything like that, so possibly him that turned that flashlight on. Man, that was pretty wild. But um, anyway, I think I might try bringing the uh, rim pod and see what happens and uh, see if they'll touch that. Until next time, God bless. See you soon.